Hey, I just had one of my students drop off a guitar that uh, we gave to him. One of my friends donated this for a young guitar student to try. This guy was such a good little student and he just was so into it and he was so smart and uh, had so much ability, but he just wouldn't practice. I think he was more into his uh, video gaming, uh, which I understand, you know, maybe people are rewiring their brains to think differently than us old geezers, but man, I'm more of a hands-on, real world, let's do something kind of guy. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, well, I told him he's welcome to come back. Okay, so we got to tune it. Well, let's just put this tuner on here. We'll just we'll give it a, a good little honest checkup. Oh boy, <laughs> kind of popped. All right. Yeah, these tuners feel pretty sloppy. The gears, the gears are slipping and sliding. This is real world stuff here. This is what I deal with at lessons. But you know, I just said, man, all you gotta do is just go. Oops, I went sharp already. Oh God, come on. Horrible. But I'm like, all you need is one finger, just press down at the fifth string, second fret, and hit those two big strings with your pick. You're rocking, man. Then move it over to A. Here's D. Play all three. Three chords, man. E, A, D. Then I teach them stuff like Johnny Cash, you know. I guess that's old stuff for a kid to learn, but still, I'm just like, man, try it. And then we do what I call rock beat. It's like... Then we do a little... We combine Johnny Cash with rock beat to make pipeline. Those are things I teach. Um, then we, of course, we do something like. I mean, most kids have heard that. Then we learn like. Eventually, I get them over here playing. What else do we teach kids? Oh, I'll teach them. I'll say, hey, man, here's the notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. I'll say, memorize it. If you got it memorized, do it with your eyes closed. After you got it memorized with your eyes closed, do it standing on one foot with your eyes closed. Stuff like that, fun stuff. Oh, then we probably go. I mean, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> then we do some sight reading. We do chords like, the, you know, for my chord book, E minor seven, A nine, E minor, a2, E major, A minor, E7, A minor 7. Then we get into the C, F major 7. Here's D, D2, D suspended 4, goes back to D. Stuff like that. We got our G chord to a C add nine or C two. Take it over to a D. And this thing's out of tune, but you know, 
It was a free guitar. It was nice of him to bring it back, though. So I'll probably clean this up, and we'll see if there's another young recipient out there that uh, might want to learn to play. Uh, another thing I teach kids is like an E or like an E minor pentatonic or E blues scale. Little pick in there. I always tell them use the ring finger third fret. We kind of practice some of that and associate it with the E chord. Eventually, we might do some chunk a chunk a rock and roll rhythm. One and two and three and four and one. And two. That ring finger goes down. Uh, fourth fret, fifth string, making a sixth interval. Or we can break it into like. Same notes, just played uh, individually, and you turn uh, that rhythm into a little bit of a riff. So. Uh, those are some things I teach kids. Oh, we give them like, I've got uh, books and they learn sight reading uh, plus uh, chords. And uh, and then I always open it up like, what do you want to play? And if they can pick a song, we'll uh, transcribe uh, a few notes of it and see if they can handle that. And then at least it knows I take, at least they know I take them seriously and I care about what they want to play. But they kind of have to, show me that they're practicing and they're willing to actually press down on the string and find the right string and get coordinated. So, you know, they have to kind of uh, satisfy a few requirements before we turn them loose to uh, pick their own songs. But, uh, you know, I try not to be uh, completely, uh, you know, a total dictator or anything. I try to uh, customize the lesson for each person but then again, there are standard things that I think a guitar player needs to know. They have to kind of meet my expectations too. But it might take, a, you know, it's amazing how each student is wired differently and you have to kind of respond to their needs. And uh, so I try to be reasonably flexible without being a total uh, pushover, you know. I mean, sometimes students will take control of the lesson, <laughs> which is fine sometimes, but sometimes, uh, you know, it goes off the rails too. So I don't, you know, I'm cautious about completely losing control of the classroom. Well, you know, that's finding that sweet spot where you can just, you know, allow people to uh, enjoy themselves while having some boundaries, I guess. But, uh, it's all good, man. Everybody I take a, that studies with me, I consider them a friend. And, uh, you know, maybe that's unhealthy, but uh, that's the way I am. <laughs> all right. Well, keep practicing and let me know uh, what's going on. And I guess I'm going to go load up my amp for a little rehearsal now. So uh, thanks again for stopping by.